Okay, rust day, rust fixing day. Um, so what we're gonna get into today is uh, there's a bit of rust in the rocker panel and the floorboard or floor 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 pan, whatever you call it. Um, it's definitely to be expected from a 1973 square body. Um, luckily, this thing was hanging out in Arizona, so the rust isn't that bad. But there's definitely some things that we want to fix. Um, I dug into this a little bit here and and it was covered up with some Bondo and a couple different things to try and fix some of the holes but I really want to just redo the whole thing get all the rust out of there well as much as I possibly can but I've got these panels I've got the driver's side and the passenger side as you can see over there that's gonna need some rust fix as well back that I'll be cutting up and making them fit perfectly and then we're going to stitch and butt weld these things back in here. But thanks for hanging out today, come along. Uh, I'm gonna start getting into this, ripping some of the rust out as much as I possibly can. And we're gonna see what we're gonna need to fill. Okay, so we have a lot of this cut out. The majority of the rust is gone. Everything else should be able to be cleaned up here in the bed pan, bed floor, whatever it's called. <laughs> so this um, I got from LMC. Um, it's just like a patch panel for your floor. I'm gonna use quite a bit of it here because there was rust all over here. And we got it in here. What I'm gonna do now, now that it's fairly close to its final resting spot. I'm gonna scribe my line that kind of will give me a nice, you know, rough outline of where I'm gonna need to cut. those I will clean everything all the surfaces that are gonna get welded to and then uh, we'll start tacking it in <laughs>
All right, uh, so got the rocker panels done. I got the floorboards done. Um, obviously, the rocker panels took a little longer because I had the whole crew cab to do all the way down. Um, there was some foam insulation in there and stuff like that, but I got it all out. Got it all re welded, stitch welded, ground out. Um, it's ready. So it was a lot of fun. So next, I'm getting the cab ready for some Raptor lining that I'm going to do all inside. Um, and that will prep for the cage that I'm going to be tying into the frame and, and everything like that. So it's going to be a fun few next videos. I'm going to try and get some more out here. Um, if you ever want to see some more updated photos or videos and stuff like that, go check it out on my Instagram, lostsasquatch.com. And yeah, if you don't know, uh, I'm a custom knife maker. So if you ever want to go and support the build, um, buying some knives from me is always fun at lostsasquatch.com. Um, you can always find some like cool forward scale stuff, different Damascus blades and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you can also check me out on Forge and Fire Season 8, Episode 10. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a, that was a fun adventure. But, but, so, next thing, Raptor lining, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Check this out. Found this little gem right up in here. See if I can get it. <laughs> That's been in there.